What's up, YouTube and TikTok? JG here. Now, <clears throat> I just uh, watched the news on GMA. Uh, marami rong umaaray ngayon sa taas pa sa ng grab. Well, <laughs> alam nyo, isa lang ang solusyon lang dyan eh, sa problema nyo. Dalawa. I got two solutions for you. Number one, pag may pasaway na driver, i-report nyo. Why? Because every time you successfully report a um, a no good driver, yung hindi sumipot sa booking nyo, nag-cancel ng, bu nag ng booking, whereas kanyari auto-accept siya, nag-cancel siya kagad, nag-cancel siya, nag siya ng booking after a few minutes, i-report nyo. If Grab finds your report valid, sanctioned ang driver. And, meron kayong reward voucher from Grab. 50 pesos yun. 50 pesos deduction sa next booking nyo. Saya. Ba? Solution number two. Grab pay. Alright? Napakasimpleng bagay lang ang Grab pay. Alright? It's cashless and convenient. Okay? Cashless. Kasi, well, wala kayo nalabas sa pera. Now, walang, walang budget budget dyan. It's considered an expense already. Once na maglagi ka ng pera sa grab pay, automatic, i-deduct nyo na sa expenses nyo. That's it. That's it. Counted na sa expense yun. So, lahat ng, lahat ng bookings mo, hindi mo na kailangan i-itemize because kunyari, automatically because automatically you have already listed your load amount as an expense to grab pakatali solution lang eh Pin ipi ipinapa 24 hours nyo pa it's just a simple solution yun nga dalawa report uh, report no good drivers and use grab pay Yun lang naman yun eh. Alright? So, advance happy holidays and I'll catch you later.